The Digital Night Control System is the brain of all our commercial heat presses. It gives you precise control over temperature, time, pressure, and other useful features. Unlike other heat press controls, our system includes an easy-to-read digital display of time, temperature, pressure bar graph, and heating and timing indicators. These controls provide relevant user information at a quick glance. Let's begin by programming a basic press setting using temperature, time, and pressure. Actual settings will vary depending on the type of material being used and its instructions. Do not use the program key during this process. To set a temperature, press the temp key. Use the up and down arrows to set the desired temperature. To rapidly increase or decrease, hold down the arrow key for two seconds. When finished, lock the temperature by pressing the temp key again. To jump to a temperature of 350 degrees, hold both arrow keys down simultaneously. Next, set the time by using only the arrow keys to enter in a specific time value. Pressing both arrow keys at the same time will reset the time to zero. Pressure is set manually by turning the pressure adjustment knob. It is imperative to remember to lock the press when lowered to assure that the correct pressure will be applied. The basic rule of thumb is, if you hear a kathunk clamping sound, then you know that the press is locked in place. If you can lock it easily with only one hand, you may not have enough pressure, so make sure you are locking the handle with a firm two-handed motion. The digital pressure bar graph on the lower part of the screen displays the amount of pressure being used. Zero indicates the least resistance, and nine indicates the most resistance when clamped. Now that you know how to set temperature, time, and pressure, let's move on to more advanced settings. The ability to store up to 70 presets makes it easy to work on a variety of products. When working on a product that requires a dual-stage transfer, you can set separate pre-press and primary press countdown times within each of these presets. To load a preset mode, press the program key. The letters SET will be displayed on the screen. Use the arrow keys to choose a preset from 00 to 70. To return to the main operating screen, press Program. The controls will now be set to the preset value number that was selected. To edit or change a preset, press the Program key. Use the arrow keys to select a preset number. Press the Temp key. While the temperature is flashing, use the arrow keys to select a desired temperature value. Press the Temp key again, and the time indicator will flash. Use the arrow keys to set the desired time value. When finished, press the Temp key again. This will set the pre-press time. Use the arrow keys to set the pre-press time value. To turn the pre-press timer off, so only the primary timer counts, set the pre-press time to zero. To set a pressure reference number, press the temp key. Use the arrow keys to set the pressure value between zero and nine. The number selected here will correspond with the bar graph pressure readout. The number you store is only a reminder or reference of where to manually set the pressure. Press the temp key to return to the preset number. Press program to return to the normal operating screen or use arrows to select a different preset to edit. To understand how to use preset settings, let's walk through setting up two different presets and explain how to use them in normal daily operations. Let's begin by programming the two different presets. Preset set 01 will be for 400 degrees and 45 seconds with the pre-press off and a pressure reference of six. Preset set 02 will be for 350 degrees and 12 seconds with a pre-press of three seconds and a pressure reference of eight. From the normal operating mode, press Program. Set appears. Use the arrow keys to select Set 01. Press Temp. Set the flashing temperature to 400 with the arrow keys. Press Temp. Set the flashing time to 45 with the arrow keys. Press Temp. Set the flashing pre-press time to 00 with the arrow keys. Press Temp. Set the flashing pressure reference to 6 with the arrow keys. Now let's set up Preset 02. Press Temp again. Use the arrow keys to select Set 02. Press Temp. Set the flashing temperature to 350 with the arrow keys. Press Temp. Set the flashing time to 12 with the arrow keys. Press Temp. Set the flashing pre-press time to 3 with the arrow keys. Press Temp. Set the flashing pressure reference to 8 with the arrow keys. Press Temp once more. Press Program to leave the preset mode. Presets Set01 and Set02 have now both been programmed. Let's say we are powering on the machine and starting a job. The first job will need to use Preset01, and later on, the second job will need Preset02. From the normal operating mode, press Program. Set appears. Use the arrow keys to select Set01, then press Program. The press is now set for 400 degrees Fahrenheit and 45 seconds, and will start to heat to that temperature. When leaving the presets, 
the screen briefly displays PRS 6, indicating you must manually set the clamping pressure so the bar graph shows 6, or close to it, at the bottom of the screen. Let's say that our first job is complete and we need to load preset 02 for the second job. Press Program. Set appears. Use the arrow keys to select Set 02, then press Program. The press is now set for 350 degrees Fahrenheit and 12 seconds, with a 3 second pre-press, and you are reminded to set the pressure heavier, around 8, on the bar graph display when closed. You can load a preset as often as needed, just press Program, pick the preset you want with the arrow keys, and press Program again. Use these steps as a guide to practice setting preset values and how to use them effectively. The digital control system is equipped with useful features beyond the basic settings we've discussed so far. These additional features are listed in the user menu, which can be accessed by pressing temperature and program buttons simultaneously. Fahrenheit or Celsius is the first user preference that can be edited. Use the arrow keys to select Fahrenheit or Celsius, and then press program to move to the next menu item. Timer and pre-press time can be set for minutes and seconds or hours and minutes. In the CNT section, you can use the arrow keys to select seconds or hours. Press program to move to the next user option. The REC mode is where the recorded pressings are stored. This is a handy function for keeping track of pressings for a particular job or for personal records. This can be cleared and reset to zero at any time. Use the arrow keys to reset the counter to zero. Press program to continue. The PRO user option is where you can calibrate minimum pressure indicated by the bar graph. Adjust the pressure of the machine using the black knob to be very light when clamping and locking the press. Press either arrow key to reset low pressure while the press is clamped. This feature is only available on certain models. Press program to continue to the pressure maximum setting. The PMX setting will calibrate the heavy pressure settings when clamping and locking the press. When a desired pressure is met, press either arrow key to reset the high pressure value while the press is clamped. This feature is only available on certain models. It is important to only adjust pressure settings when you are certain that the pressure is being miscalculated. Press program to continue. In the temperature drop sense, or DRP setting, you can set an alarm on the press that will go off as the temperature drops a certain amount below the set temperature. This will alert you to temperature changes while pressing. Use the arrow keys to adjust the alarm to off or 10 to 20 degrees and higher. When the alarm is sounding during normal use, press the temp key to silence. Using small values will result in the alarm sounding regularly. Press program to continue. You can turn the beep associated with keypad on and off in the BEP control option. Use the arrow keys to set it to on or off. Press program to continue. It is possible to adjust timer alarms for different beeping patterns from short to long. This is helpful to differentiate between multiple presses. In the ALR section, use the arrow keys to set it to off or to an option between 1 through 10. Press program to continue. Another sound that can be adjusted is the finished warning beep. In the FWB preference, a beeping warning sound can be set for the last three seconds of the timer or pre-press timer countdown. This is a useful safety feature for automatic or pop-up machines. Use the arrow keys to set this alarm on or off. Press program to continue. The PPR menu item turns the pre-press timer on or off. Use the arrow keys to adjust. When the pre-press timer mode is off, pressing program will take you to the normal operating mode. If the pre-press timer is on, pressing program will move you to the next menu item, the pre-press alarms. Press program to continue. Pre-press timer alarms can be adjusted for different beeping patterns in the AL2 menu item. Use the arrow keys to set it off or to an option between 1 through 10. Hit program to return to the normal operating screen. There is another useful menu option available called operator lockout. This feature is useful to the owner of the press and prevents the average user from changing any settings or adjusting the controls. Please contact us directly for more information regarding how to access this feature. The digital control system has a three-year warranty. In the rare case you need to service your machine, the modular plug-and-play electronics can be changed out by anyone in less than 10 minutes. We stand behind what we build, and we do our best to ensure same-day support response and resolution for all warranty and out-of-warranty service requests. Thank you for watching. For more information, please contact us today.